Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Machine Gainer. In this video, I'm going to be discussing stream titles, how to get the most of them. So I did some time. Uh, I make it sound like I was, went to jail. I didn't go to jail. I, I've not done time in jail. I, I can I can promise you that yet. I mean, I've not done time in jail yet. But I did some time as a marketing manager, around about two years as a marketing manager in my sort of pre-content life. Also, I did around about 10 years of sales and commercial management stuff as well. So I'm not like a total super expert pro, but I also know quite a fair amount about how to hook people in, how to sell, uh, how to sell yourself, and of course, how to get the most from the opportunities of impressions that you'll get when maybe someone might only see a split second. So this concept is called, obviously it's called first impressions, and they estimate that you've got something like 3.5 seconds of time to make a good first impression. I think it's even less when you're talking about titles and text. There's probably some research out here about this, but I would not be surprised if it's more like half a second or a second where people quickly read a little bit of a text and then scroll, and that is it. And there's a lot of like email opening, email titles, uh, analysis that's been done for this as well. And they estimate that for emails, anything from two to 5% open rate is actually quite a good open rate, which means that of the text that you're putting in an email, and I know this isn't quite the same, but the text that you're putting in an email as the title, something like only two in 50 or like five in a hundred people will actually open that. And what that means is the impressions that you get whilst you're in a game category or something like that is likely to be something similar. Maybe it's as high as like 10% or something, but there's a pretty high chance it's not higher than 10%. But well, the difference between getting like a 2% impression click-through ratio or a 10% impression click-through ratio is how attractive the title is and a number of fundamental things that you can do in that title to make it clickable. In this video, I'm gonna talk about questions. I'm gonna talk about hooks. I'm gonna talk about caps locks versus not. I'm gonna talk about emojis. I'm gonna talk about repetitive titles and I'm gonna talk about a lot of relevancy in your titles. Hopefully you come away from this video tangibly being able to write better titles. As always, if you do find it useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. That definitely helps me. And also if you wanna subscribe, you want more content by all means. And also if you wanna check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, you can ask me any questions at all. I think we're ready to go. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, you need to make sure that you are actually editing your titles every single stream. That may sound obvious, but make sure you do edit your title. To do that, there's this button here, which my face is hiding at the moment, but it's this button here, edit stream information. Click that, and then your title's there. And also your go live notifications as well. You can add tags and things like that, and we'll talk all about all this kind of stuff. But first, let's talk about hooks. Hooks are a pretty common theme in content. It's that very early stage where you're making your first impression. A hook is something that's going to drag someone in and actually get their attention and bring them almost like to the front door to make them curious enough to click in, okay? A hook can be any kind of challenge that you want to set. A hook can be like something emotive that you want to say, something that invokes like a human response in the person that's viewing the title. It could be something like key stream information. For example, this is a 24 hour stream or it's a charity stream or it's a challenge stream or something like that. But also hooks can be something a lot more subtle. It can be key functional information about the stream for example that it's a UK stream that it's an English speaking stream or a Spanish speaking stream or it could be that it's a PC stream or a console or something like that so they're also options that you've got if you've got enough space and of course you've only got a limited amount of space there's 140 characters that you can use but actually if we just copy and paste the title here the title ended at that point here for this particular person it looks like you've got something like 41 characters that actually get shown on the main browsing screen. Now, different screens and different recommended might show a different amount of characters, but the reality is here, you haven't got 140 characters to work with. You've actually probably got more like 41 characters to work with. So those first five or six words that you write are so crucial in how successful the title is going to be at converting an impression to a click through. I just want to talk briefly about Loser Fruits title here. Uh, we're on the Fortnite category. 
she's written i'm injured with a sad face so she's put an emoji in there that's obviously quite useful it can create a form of response zoomers are going to absolutely eat that up but it's a really interesting title that she's put because she's written i'm injured and that anyone that's watching this might actually sympathize with the fact that she's injured here and might want to click in and almost just be curious about why she's injured why is she injured what's happened is it an accident um, or something like that. It's a little bit clickbaity, but to be honest, when you're in a stream, as long as you're not outright lying, and I don't think she's lying there, she probably is genuinely injured for something, then you're not going to turn viewers off. So the content needs to at least remotely reflect what you are doing, but I think a level of clickbait is acceptable. Some other things we're going to just quickly note here just by browsing through, not very many people are using emojis, and we will talk about emojis in a second, but we can see very few people are using emojis at all. We've got one here. There's probably like one in 30 or 40 that are actually using emojis, which is crazy really, because they do make the title stand out a little bit more. So we're seeing maybe one or two in every like 40 or 50 titles. That's one thing. The other thing as well is a lot of people are not using the tags. So that's kind of odd to see because I know that some people do filter on tags and I know that because people have come into my stream specifically telling me that they've added tags and found me through tags. The tags don't work as well as they should do on Twitch. That's a pretty known fact, but they do work to an extent. And when it's when we're talking about something that takes a matter of five or 10 seconds to add tags, then you should do it. There's no reason not to do it. A really popular one is the playing with viewers. If you are doing a game where you're inviting other viewers to play with you, you definitely should have the play with viewers because people search for that one in particular. Of course, as well with the challenge, challenge runs, so in terms of your title, having some sort of hook is really important and putting that hook within the first 41 characters, perhaps the first five to 10 words is absolutely crucial. Putting emojis in there probably will make the title stand out a little bit more. Emojis, I use a, a tool called Emojipedia. I can just search for like, I don't know, eggplant and I can put an eggplant in my title. And that's going to perk up people's attentions. <laughs> Already, just with something like that, I'm probably slightly more likely to get a click through than the next person that isn't using those. From the research that I've done, typing in capital letters does help. I've noticed very definitively that when I've had capitals versus not, and I've specifically tested this, that I get more click throughs with capital. It may not work for everyone in every situation. Okay, this isn't always a black and white situation. From the anecdotal experience that I have, capital locks do work. And scrolling through here, this one does stand out pretty well, I would say. This stands out for the fact that it's a 24-hour screen with an exclamation point. Fashion show with caps lock. This stands out a little bit here. A lot of people choose to add commands in their title. Anything that invokes some sort of extra interactivity uh, through the use of a command is potentially going to hook more people into your stream but of course it relies on that command actually being set up and that command being useful if it's a completely stupid um, like like non-useful boring command then there's no point putting it in your title and the other thing as well is if you're just spamming loads of different commands in your title i don't think that that's a good thing to do having one or two commands in the title is worthwhile doing especially if it's something that's like a unique or temporary thing that you've added to your stream if you if it's a permanent command that's on your stream the whole time you don't necessarily want to be putting those commands in your title for the longevity of time i would maybe pick and choose and trial different titles let's talk about drama let's talk about difficulty let's talk about challenges for a second um, there's a lot of people out there that are just playing a game, okay? Twitch and YouTube gaming, they're both saturated with people that are simply playing a game. And whilst that might be entertaining in itself, because the person that is playing the game is an entertaining, very engaging, interactive person, sometimes that isn't enough. And this is why many people that are doing challenges tend to do pretty well on Twitch. So if you are doing challenges, just make sure that it's going in your title. Or if you're doing something different in the game that you're playing that makes it stand out from normal gameplay, try and figure out a way to succinctly add that information into the title. Anything that's dramatic will always do very, very well. 
It doesn't matter whether it's good drama or bad drama, you're going to get click-throughs if there's some sort of drama in your title. If you can create some drama in your title, you should absolutely do that. And I personally think that the algorithms for YouTube and for Twitch are geared towards high drama content. You may want to consider putting things like um, things like UK, EC, or like EN in the title, those types of things. They are useful to do, but I wouldn't waste too much of your space. Here we've used probably 15 characters, 10, 15 characters. That's a lot of space to use for that first 41 characters. I'm going to talk a little bit about repetitive titles. If you're a streamer that's really consistent and you're streaming, let's say, three to five or six days a week, if you're repetitively adding the same title, I don't think that's going to help you because people will potentially see your stream more frequently and, and be less inclined to click on it. Even if these are people that are your regular viewers, they may be less inclined to click on it if it's the regular titles. And sometimes when they click into your stream, let's say for example, we click into a stream here, you then get to see the full title in play. If people are seeing the same content there every single time, without doubt, people are going to start to get bored with that. So do try and vary up your titles. It makes a big difference if you're really making the effort with your titles and people see that. It's really important that you don't forget to change the title when you change games. Because, like, there's no point in you having a title about Fortnite when you're playing, like, Minecraft. Nobody wants to see, like, your skins, right, if you're playing Mine Wait, Minecraft off skins? I don't know, I've never played Minecraft. Does Minecraft have skins? Maybe that's a bad example. There's no point in having a title that talks about cranking build 90s uh, on Fortnite if, if actually you're playing Minecraft. Wait, building Minecraft as well, don't you? That's another really, really bad example. Forget the bad examples. Just make sure that you make the titles relevant. You can also get your mods to do this as well. You can literally get your mods to do the title for you. So you literally don't even need to necessarily even do it yourself. You just need to make your mods aware that they're allowed to do it. Yeah, so if you go into the default tab here and do a search for title within Cloudbot commands, you've got set title. You can edit this. You can also choose whether you want the permission to be used by moderators or not. So if you don't want your moderators to be able to change the title, you can simply turn that on and off. I finally just want to talk about sort of gaming titles versus non-gaming titles, okay? Clearly, if you're gaming versus not gaming, the title matters. If you're gaming, you want the title to be relevant to the game. But the thing is, often the title not being relevant to the game can make a big difference because it might then relate to something that you are doing on your stream. It makes you the focal point rather than the game the focal point. And especially in saturated games where there's a high volume of players, you or the content that you're generating becoming the focal point rather than the game becoming the focal point might become really, really entertaining. That might be the thing that makes somebody click into your stream and hang out, follow, maybe even subscribe and give bits and all of that good stuff, okay? If you're changing games, make sure that you change the category as well. Again, your mods can do this. It's technically against Twitch terms and service to not change your game category on purpose. There you have it. Hopefully, I've given you some ideas about different things that you can do with your titles. It really, really matters. This really, really matters. This can actually be the thing that, especially in the early days, can make or break the amount of exposure you get and therefore how quickly you as a streamer grow. If you're being impressioned and click through by more people, you will grow faster. It's as simple as that. Once again, if you found it useful, feel free to thumbs up, feel free to subscribe, and have a great, 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 great day.